Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel for another unboxing for Operation Christmas Child. Today's unboxing is a collaboration with my friend Trish from Bird Feed and Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. I'll put a link to their videos in my description below. So happy 4th of July or Independence Day, but also today is Alice in Wonderland Day. Apparently when Lewis Carroll wrote Alice in Wonderland or Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, he was inspired on July 4th when he went on a picnic with the Liddell family and was inspired by a little girl named Alice Liddell. And if you're not familiar with the story, basically it's about a little girl named Alice who falls down a rabbit hole into a land where things get curiouser and curiouser. And I'm familiar with Alice in Wonderland because when I was in high school, I was in the play. I was the March Hare. It was a little crazy <laughs> because the March Hare is a little crazy. But I had a lot of fun. I have a lot of good memories. I'm going to share some pictures with you that were just sent to me last year by my drama teacher. He is still alive and asked if I would like these pictures and I said sure. And that inspired me to pack this special box. This box is also special to me because I'm dedicating it to Jenny. Jenny Hot was the Dormouse, who was basically asleep during most of the show because the Dormouse is very sleepy. Um, Jenny was sweet and kind. She had always had a smile on her face. She was very tiny, very petite. But Jenny passed away our senior year of high school. We did the show our junior year of high school, and Jenny passed away our senior year. She had cystic fibrosis. I still think of Jenny to this day, so I'm dedicating this box, this special box, to Jenny. And I hope that this little girl will feel the love that I put into this box um, when I was thinking of Jenny when I was packing. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Happy Independence Day and Happy Alice in Wonderland Day. Today I'm using a regular cardboard box, and on the top I put a calendar picture, and it's covered in duct tape, so when the tape goes over it at the processing center, this won't get ruined. But it's a really pretty calendar picture of a door that I thought looked like the door that Alice went through to get to Wonderland and all the beautiful flowers that were on the other side. And then I just used duct tape around the sides to cover up some of the writing. Okay, when she opens her box, this is what you'll see. So right on the lid is some packaging. That's a big teapot that says, you are loved. Some packaging from one of the items inside and some felt flowers that are kind of three-dimensional. And that's what you'll see right on top. So let's take it out. Right on top she has this cute little bunny rabbit that I'm calling the March Hare. And I made him a special bow tie because when I was the March Hare I wore this big bow tie and I have a little snap on the back so she can take it off. And I originally this was priced for $13.99 and I got it for $1.39 at 90% off clearance. He's so pretty and uh, the fur so soft I think she'll just love him. Next she has a little bag that I made out of this Alice in Wonderland material. And inside her bag she has lots of little figurines to play with. So on the show, Alice in Wonderland's Bakery, which is based on the Alice in that show, is the granddaughter of Alice. She's a baker. So I've included a little mushroom, because it's a little nightlight, because there's a mushroom in the story. And then these are all the characters from the show. That's Alice in her little baking set. And I got this on a lightning deal from Amazon for $3. This is Princess Rosa. She's the daughter of the Queen of Hearts. This is the Cheshire Cat. This is the White Rabbit, who they call Fergie. And this is the Mad Hatter, who they call Hattie. So these are really cute characters on this show. And Hattie won't stand up for me. There you go. And this is her little cat called um, Dinah. And then I've added to the set a caterpillar that looked like the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. 
and it's just one of those fidget toys that I recently got from the Dollar Tree. So perfect addition to that little set. And then she has a bag to put it all in when she's done playing. Uh, all right, right on top she has her hygiene kit. She has a comb, uh, lip balm, a nail clippers, and two nail files. One says loved and one says I am strong because Jenny was a very strong little girl. And then I put in this really pretty hairbrush. I can't remember where I got it from, but it just, I like the color because it reminded me of Alice in Wonderland. She has some pretty flowers on top just for decoration. She can use these and stick them somewhere. There's a lot of flowers in the story. I've given her a watch because the white rabbit is always saying, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. And he's carrying a stopwatch or a, not a stopwatch, a pocket watch. So I gave her a watch so she will never be late. And I will include a battery, an extra battery, and a screwdriver for her. And I got that watch for a dollar recently at Walmart. Next, she has a red rose pen. Because in the story, they are painting the roses red because the Queen of Hearts um, doesn't like white roses. So all the cards, the playing cards, are painting the roses red or she'll chop off their heads. <laughs> So I gave her a red rose. Her socks feature a little mouse that reminded me of Jenny as the Dormouse. And these are from the Dollar Tree. She has some spiky balls and some bouncy balls. A calculator in a Wonderland blue. And these little characters, the Queen of Hearts and the Cheshire Cat, I don't know if you remember, but Dollar Tree for a while had these little figurines. They're little metal figurines. So I still had those in my stash, and then I found a Disney Dorable, which is Alice. So I've added those to her box. I've given her two sets of socks. One has hearts on it that reminded me of the Queen of Hearts, and flowers that reminded me of all the different flowers in the novel. She also has a little notebook with some pretty flowers on it. And then I've given her a puzzle, an Alice in Wonderland puzzle, and the box that the puzzle go in, goes in is at the bottom of the box. So I'll show you that when I take that out. Okay, right here she has um, a little, this is uh, at the Dollar Tree right now, these little muslin bags, and I just painted with fabric paint on a teacup. And inside she has a bandana to make a tea set for her rabbit and her figurines. So these are just the tea sets from the Dollar Tree. These are really cute, and these this is the new color that's come out, and it it's perfect because I feel like it's a Wonderland color. That, that blue reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. So it comes with cups and spoons and saucers. And she can have a little tea party with her rabbit and her friends. And then she has something to put it in when she's done playing. I've given her two pair of underwear. One is a size 10 and one is a size 8. She has a fun set of playing cards because cards are throughout the, the novel of Alice in Wonderland. She has some crayons. I've given her a set of cards that is the Game of Hearts. Um, and the Queen of Hearts is featured right on the cover as she is throughout the, uh, the book. And I've also written down the plain directions in French, Spanish, and English for her there at the bottom of the box. She has a school supply kit with pencils, sharpeners, highlighters, fun erasers, and some skateboard stickers of Alice in Wonderland right on the cover there. It features Alice, the Cheshire Cat, the key, a teacup, and the white rabbit. So she has lots of nice school supplies. She has this Alice in Wonderland bakery activity book with a stacking crayon 
I got this on clearance at Walmart after Easter and it has some great stickers in the front and some activities and coloring in the inside. She also has a glue stick and some funny racers and I've given her these hedgehogs because in the story Alice plays croquet and the, um, the croquet balls are hedgehogs. So that's why I gave her those. She has a pretty cross that I made with some beads and just a piece of string and a cross from Hobby Lobby. I've also given her an angel that just reminded me of Jenny watching over her because I'm sure Jenny is an angel in heaven. And it's just a little wooden angel, like a little peg doll with some glittery wings and a heart on the bottom to know that she is loved. She has a kit of hair supplies that includes some ribbon, some hair ties, some ribbon. Let me take it all out for you and show you all at once. So she has some flower hair clips, some hair ties, and a heart coil. And then she has these um, bobby pins and barrettes that reminded me of Alice in Wonderland because of the white rabbit and the flowers. She has a small whistle, a pair of scissors, an extra battery for her calculator, and her toothbrush with a cap. I've also included this t-shirt for her. Now this shirt, this was my dilemma. This shirt I got at Walmart to me looks too small for a 10 to 14. So I decided to do this box for a five to nine, but it's a little big for a five-year-old. So I'm going to pray that it goes to maybe a nine-year-old or an eight-year-old, but it's so cute. It has the Cheshire cat, and Alice and the White Rabbit. I got this a long time ago. I think it was $3. And um, this was the first item I got for this box. So I think she'll really like it. And if it's too big, hopefully she will grow into it. And to go with her shirt, I got her a pair of these biker shorts with hearts on it. And this is a size 10, 12. Also from Walmart, these were a dollar. Okay, on the bottom she has a backpack that I made for her out of Alice in Wonderland fabric. It's so cute. I tried a new pattern this time that I really like that has a casing at the top. And the inside is lined with some a red heart fabric that reminded me of the Queen of Hearts. So it's really cute. It pulls at the top. It'll be great for school or for carrying her things home in. This is the box for her puzzle, for her Alice in Wonderland puzzle from the Dollar Tree. I've given her the Alice's Wonderland Bakery coloring book that features Alice on the front and the white rabbit. She has a pink composition book, a Jesus Loves You laminated card, and a card and letter from us, our family. And here's all her stickers at the bottom. She has some skateboard stickers that I got from Tamu that are all Alice in Wonderland. You can see the pocket watch at the top. I gave her some keys and locks that represent the door that Alice has to go through to get to Wonderland. Some rose, red roses are very significant because they have to paint the white roses red. I gave her a sticker sheet from the recent um, sticker books that are available at Dollar Tree because right here, is Alice. And then I gave her this um, little set of stickers because it has a clock on it that reminded me of the pocket watch and lots of beautiful flowers that Alice sees in Wonderland. And on the very bottom, oh, she also has this little prism glass. It's like a magnifying glass. And I thought Alice could use that to see some things in Wonderland. Uh, this is the Hearts Game Rules in French, Spanish, and English, and I put this little cute paper clip at the top. 
And then I gave her some images that I printed off of the internet with another cute paper clip that features some teacups. And many of the images from the original Disney version from 1951, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> That's what the March Hare looks like. So she'll have plenty to color. And also at the bottom are two little teacups that match the teapot on the top of her box. And that's my Alice in Wonderland box for you today, dedicated to my friend Jenny Hot. I hope she's looking down and smiling, and I hope you're smiling too. Thanks for coming along. Don't forget to check out Trish and Val's videos. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. Happy Alice in Wonderland Day. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. God bless you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.